What's up guys? It's your boy Beatty back here with another Q&A. It's been a little while. I haven't done a Q&A for a little bit. But uh just been busy, man. Um my online coaching really been uh taking off. Been getting a lot of quality quality clients. Uh so I just been working hard on that, man. Working real hard with that. And um it was my birthday yesterday. I was in New York for for a week, so I was away. Didn't get a chance to do any uh any content or anything like that. But um I'm back now, back on the grind. Expect anywhere from one to three videos a week from me. That's gonna be my goal. I'm telling you guys so you can hold me accountable. If I don't drop a video, you know, you can harass me, you know, till I do. But as far as the coaching goes, I still have ten slots open. When I say ten slots open, I, I don't mean like this is like, you know, I'm so flooded with clients that I have to turn people down because I'm this huge coach and I have hundreds of clients and I can't take any more clients. That's not what I mean. Basically, there's a certain number that I'm comfortable with at this point because I've tried exceeding that number. And when I do, I can't really guarantee, you know, I'm going to have like fast, you know, speedy responses to my clients, which to me is important. Uh, that's one of the things that separates me from a lot of coaches. There's a lot, you know, there's a lot of great coaches out there, right? But it's not always about just knowledge and experience. Sometimes it's about compatibility, right? And um, it doesn't matter how knowledgeable your coach is if he never gets back to you, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He has to be in contact with you for him to be a good coach. So I take pride in my communication and not leaving people hanging for days and weeks even I hear from some people. So, um, yeah, so I take that really seriously. So um, I don't want to over, you know, overdo it and kind of you know just not be able to get back to my clients so 10 slots open so if you want to sign up you can shoot me an email at baityfall at icloud.com you can shoot me a dm on instagram at baityfall on instagram and uh i'll get back to you uh, in a timely manner and we can discuss you know where we go from there but let's get right into it Q&A today is coming from Instagram. So the first question coming from Shamel1986. Are BCAs, BCAAs beneficial? Um, for a long time, I actually f felt like they were useless. Felt like it was nonsense. Um, because for those of you who is not aware, um, BCAs are pretty much branched chain amino acids, right? Amino acids are the, are the building blocks of protein. So, if I have a chicken breast that has, you know, a couple chicken breasts that have 50 grams of protein all together, um, I'm getting plenty of BCAs, right? So, uh, same thing, if I have a whey protein shake, I'm getting the full spectrum of amino acids, including BCAs. So, in my head, I'm like, well, if I'm having a protein shake after the workout, and I already had, you know, my meal before the workout, I have all the protein and BCAs, you know, I need. So, what's the point of me having this intra workout BCAs? It's kind of like overkill. It makes no difference, right? So that's how I've always felt. But um, it seems like uh, most coaches I've worked with, which I've only I've only worked with two coaches. Yeah, only worked with two coaches. So both both the coaches that I've worked with, um, they both recommended me take BCAs actually and um, so I'm the kind of person man I, you you have to listen to learn I'm, I'm not a know-it-all I'm not gonna sit here and say well I know everything so I don't listen to anybody I'm willing to try things out if it doesn't work then you know I, I might discontinue it but I'm always willing to learn and try new things like the moment you're finished listening is the moment you know you finish learning and if you finish learning it's not gonna benefit you in any way so I coached myself for a little bit and I kind of stopped using the BCAs and then uh, when I got with Justin Compton, who's my coach now, um, I, I started implementing it again and I've noticed uh, a definitely a way better pump and kind of like sustained energy throughout my workout. So um, and then uh, there'll be days where I wouldn't take it, you know, for whatever reason I wouldn't take the BCAs. And I would definitely notice uh, less of a pump and a little bit less of the, 
uh, energy, not like mental energy, not not like caffeine, not like a stimulant, more of like just uh, I want to say like muscle endurance. Let's, let me use that, not not like stamina, but like muscle endurance. So I definitely noticed uh, definitely noticed benefits of BCAs. But that being said, um, I'm not gonna spend a bunch of money on BCAs and uh, and slack off on my meals and slack off on my whey protein powder and things like that. You know, BCA does have benefits, but uh, you have to have priorities first. So your food has to be in check. Have your whey protein powder, you know, things like that before you think about BCAs. Have your multivitamins, fish oil, whatnot. So uh, definitely works, but uh, it's more of like a secondary, even third third string uh, supplement. It's not like a, a necessity. You don't like need it, you know, per se. Next question from from B Soldier underscore Kurt 20. What age did you start working out? As far as working out, uh, started working out without weights first. Just like push-ups, sit-ups, things like that. Had like one dumbbell like 15 to 20 pound dumbbell kind of worked with that for a while that was like i want to say like 13 ish yeah like 12 13 ish something like that i say 13 like 13 ish that's when i really got into push-ups sit-ups all the calisthenics and um just one dumbbell and i would do some curls with that you know maybe some overhead tricep extensions things like that so i want to say 13 but if you're talking about working out as in uh going to a gym and having a full workout i'm gonna say about 16 is when i actually started getting going to the gym and working out actually working out 16 16 this year next question from underscore ziggy underscore 21 if i want to start my enhanced journey should I start out with test only or add more compounds? It's going to depend on what kind of results you're looking for. Um, but in my opinion, you should probably start off with a test and, uh, and an oral. So if you're trying to put on size, test and D-ball is a good start. And let's say if you were cutting, you could go with like a test and a windstraw or a... Uh, if you, if you have, you know, if you, if you don't care about the size and you're just trying to get shredded, you could even leave out the test and just do a, an, anabolics like Rini and Anavar or something like that. Next question from Stay Too Breezy on Instagram. What's your diet and cardio like, bro? My diet really hasn't changed much in a long time. Um, if you watch, if you go down uh, to my previous videos, you can find a day of eating video and it's going to be pretty similar to that uh the amount of food might change depending on what i'm trying to do but yeah go to the last the last eating video and um it's, it's pretty much the same it's pretty pretty simple bodybuilder builder diet pretty basic and my cardio well right now i'm off season so i'm only doing about 20 minutes of cardio post-workout pretty low intensity none too crazy all right so one more the last question from F. Period. R. Ruiz. Ruiz. What keeps you motivated? I'm assuming he's talking about what keeps me motivated in the gym, as far as bodybuilding uh, wise. That's what I'm gonna assume. But um, it's like me asking you what motivates you to eat your favorite food. It's like me asking you what motivates you to have sex you know what motivates you to have fun you don't you, you don't you don't need motivation you don't have to find motivation to do something you love to do you know it's not a it's not a motivational thing you enjoy it so i enjoy every bit of this i enjoy to eat i enjoy to make progress i enjoy to work out i enjoy all of that so well enjoying to eat might be an overstatement but I enjoy eating knowing I have this goal in mind, let's say that. Um, I just love it, man. I just love bodybuilding. I love working out. I don't need to find motivation. The motivation is there because I love it. So when people ask that question, it's kind of weird to me because 
I don't look at it like that and I just come from a completely different place and it, it just that question almost doesn't make sense to me what motivation I love it if I didn't love it I probably wouldn't be doing it to be honest with you so if you don't love it and you feel like you're constantly looking for motivation then maybe it's not for you um, that doesn't mean you shouldn't do it but maybe it's not for you so maybe you'll never be as uh, you'll never get as far as you want to get when it comes to this but um that's just me being honest. I love it. That's why. That's why I do it. You know, do what you love within reason, I guess. But anyways, that's gonna be it. If you like the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, leave some comments down below, turn on the post notifications, follow me on Instagram at Beatty Fall on Instagram, and shoot me a, and shoot me an email at Beatty Fall at iCloud.com for coaching. All right, so. I guess that's it. Peace. Ooh. Gains, motherfucker.